that 10.5 we've added portal to portal collaboration and synchronization. This is built for your on-prem portals to let us now take web items between different on-prem portals with different identities, different network access controls, different security profiles, and synchronize them. Change how fundamentally we're interacting with items between these different on-prem portals. So Betsy and I today are going to show you a fictional, yet I think a scenario that will resonate with everybody here, where we have an agency with two on-prem portals, one in Virginia and one in Maryland. And Betsy's going to be playing the part of an analyst in Maryland who needs to collaborate across the river, which she'll lay out some of the problems and go through how we can now solve that with this new collaboration. Betsy. My team in the Maryland Fusion Center are part of an overdose drug task force, and we use Portal to organize our analysis and information products. In the course of our analysis, we've identified heroin distribution areas as well as a new brand of heroin linked to fatal overdoses, which we haven't seen before in our region. Given the proximity of these overdoses to the Virginia border, I put a request for information into the Virginia Fusion Center to see what information they may have to share. And just to make sure that it got there, someone's working on it, check the status, I give them a call. And in the course of the conversation, they make a very interesting offer. Instead of giving me a static report and an export of data, as I had originally asked for, they invite my team to join in a partnership whereby we can create cross-jurisdictional approaches to countering this heroin problem. After talking with our respective IT departments, a portal collaboration will be established, which will enable us to share information in real time. So in looking at our two portals in our agency, just like your portals, we don't let Virginia users onto our Maryland portal, and we don't let Maryland users onto our Virginia portal. Further, we've got firewall rules around our Maryland portal, and we don't allow externals to access it anyway. So what that results in is, as the Virginia administrator, I'm going to act as the host for our collaboration. Coming into the new 10.5 collaboration tab, I'm going to come down and initiate a collaboration. A collaboration really defines the partnership between one or more portals. Once I've got a collaboration to find, I'm going to add a workspace to it. A workspace is where we bridge the gap from the IT aspects of sharing over to how analysts are used to doing work in groups. Here I'm going to come through and pick our heroin research project that we already have going on in Virginia and create the collaboration. Once I've created a collaboration, I need to go ahead and invite a guest to it. I'm going to go ahead and use the URL to our Maryland portal. I'm also going to define how we're going to interact with that information. Are we just going to send information, receive it? In this case, we want to be bi-directionally sharing information between our two portals, so we'll go ahead and set that up. At that point, we're going to go ahead and save off an invitation file, and then we're going to transmit that over via a secure email, file transfer, whatever meets our agency requirements. So while we're doing that handshake, we're now building that bridge that lets us securely capture and move information between these two portals. We can support web tier authentication, which matters to a lot of you. We can also support client certificates for those of you running PKI environments, which matters for a lot of you too. All right, so we've now set up our collaboration. I'm now going to come in and look at that group here in my Virginia portal, down here in my heroin research project. What you'll see now is we have a mix. I've got items from my Maryland portal, time stamped with now, which is a good thing. I've also got the items from Virginia that were already in that group. So at this point now, the analysts can get into this group and start doing their work. So now that that collaboration has been established, I can go back to my overdose group and see items from the Virginia portal. I can open a web map of the overdoses from the Virginia Fusion Center, and I can interact with it just as I would any map that was native to my portal. I can see immediately that the Virginia Fusion Center has had experience with that same brand of heroin that I was looking at earlier. I can now go a step further and add items from my content to this Virginia map. I can then save it as a new map. And share it back to my overdose group. By sharing it with the overdose group, I'm also immediately sharing it with the Virginia collaboration. This way, I'm no longer exporting data 
vaccine records. Instead, I'm working more dynamically and collaboratively with my counterparts across the river. So just that quickly, we've gone through and set up a collaboration between, between two on-prem portals in front of you, which is a little nerve-wracking. We've got that working and using protected technologies have built that secure bridge to now bring data from Maryland over to Virginia. Thank you.